calls and I'm very happy to welcome Rob Lewis to the show. Rob, how are you doing, buddy? Are you well? Uh, absolutely fine, mate. Absolutely fine. I know you're busy. I know you're still working in a minute, aren't you? So uh, good man, good man. <laughs> yeah, a bit flat out, just trying to keep everyone going during these tough times. And uh, I won't say I'm a key worker. Those guys are the lovely boys and girls in the NHS and our shops are that getting everyone fed and watered. But we're, we're all just mucking in, doing our best. Fantastic, good man. Now, look, uh, Rob, I've known you for a while now. I know what you do in motorsport, but not everybody else does. So, Rob Lewis, how are you involved in motorsport? Uh, it's, it, it's weird, really. I, I've always been a fan of motorsport, always from when I was younger. I used to watch the British touring cars, the V8 supercars, anything racing, I was glued to on the telly. Um, and I went to Basingstoke College in 2009. Yeah, 2009. Um, went and did motorsport there, met some wonderful people, and I ended up yeah. racing their 2CV for three years in the 24 hours at Snetterton. Ah, funny enough, we're, we're going to be doing that this year, um, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, yeah, brilliant. It's, I'll tell you what, a lot of people just go, oh, it's only a 2CV. But I'll tell you what, when it's 2 o'clock in the morning and there's nine of you just drafting each other on the straight to try and get some sort of speed, it's quite fun, actually. It's a bit like the KAs that... You know, as you know, I've been involved with Club Racing UK and the KAs this year and and just uh, you wouldn't think something so small with barely any speed would be so fun to do, but it's, it's quite entertaining. It is superb, isn't it? And and again, you just mentioned that you're involved in Club Racing UK and Enduro Car, you're obviously very close to Nick. What's the plans for this year? I know everything's on hold at the minute, but once we do get racing again, what are you going to be involved with? Uh, well, obviously, I'm, I'm involved. I, I always try and help out Nick and Steph where I can with anything to do with Club Racing UK. I love what they're about. I love the passion that they show to do with Club Motorsport. I have the same passion. Um, mm -hmm. I race myself. Uh, I've got a Ford Focus ST170. I used to race, oh, nice. funnily enough, for the Classic Touring Car Racing Club. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We're, and we're with those guys this yeah. year as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I raced that in the Pre-05 Championship in 2016, 2017, and I took two years out to basically spend a lot of money on the car, give it some <laughs> ponies, give it some more goodies. So I like the plan to was, <laughs> the plan was, I was due to go racing again at the BHP show at Lyndon Hill with the modified Ford Series. Current events have made sure that isn't happening. Um, it was going to be a few rounds with the Bark Saloons as well. Just for, I'll be honest, I need to learn to race the car again. It's completely different. Yeah. You know, so I, I need to sort of work my way in, find out what ticks with the car, what doesn't, see if I've, you know, see if I'm still as sharp as I used to be. Um, help out with the KA as well. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm very much said to the lads, I'll be, I'll help out anywhere I can. Um, anything that Nick's doing, I'll be there sort of helping out, helping out. Um, and we, we, we've also got something rather exciting we're doing this year, which I'll explain later. <laughs> Fantastic. Would you uh, care to share that now, or, or are we waiting for that? Are we, uh, are we well, is it I, taboo to talk about at a minute? I, I, could, I could share it now. Basically, the one thing I've noticed, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a motorsport geek, so I like listening to podcasts and stuff like that. Autosport have just kind of started doing one to do with the national scene, but it's very much focused on oh, look at this Porsche, look at this very expensive car. Club racing isn't just about that. It's about the guy that turns up, that's been working overtime to spend some bits on his car, goes and does it for the love of motorsport. I want to talk about that guy. Good man. I want to talk about the championships that have got massive grids full of good people, not just the guys at the front, you know. And again, I also want to talk about just club racing, what are the issues facing it, what's going on, what different championships they are. Uh, I, I just want to talk about something that I love and I'm passionate about. So that's that's going to be something myself and Nick Combs are going to be doing together. Um, we've already written a couple of scripts and we've, we've got a few topics and we want to sort of branch out into getting guests on and maybe going and maybe doing a live podcast, maybe at a race meet, somewhere like that, and just sitting down with a few people and talking to them about something that we all have a mutual love for. Brilliant, Rob. That that sounds that's right up our street. That type of thing, yeah, as you know. So that sounds really, really interesting. We'll certainly keep an eye out for that. Definitely. Now, um, a lot of exciting things happening. You've obviously raced quite a bit up and down the country. Where's your Where's your favourite track to go racing? Where What What track gives you a bit of butterflies in your stomach? If I was to race 
looks at it. Uh, I do like I do like brands. It's where I've raced the most. Um, I think Brands and Donington together would be the two tracks that really sort of give you the fizz. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it's a bucket list track, if it bucket list track you can't beat Bathurst you cannot beat Bathurst okay. just yeah. for the sheer yeah. scale change I mean the thousand kilometers in October and then you've got the 12 hours in February which is just expanded in the past few years yeah. like you wouldn't believe and the racing yeah. is so close in some way it just looks stunning it's just it, it it just ticks all the boxes for me <laughs> so that's yeah, no, I, I, I like that well. Good. I like that bucket list. In fact, that's a question we can now add onto our onto our thing. And talk about that. Good. Nice one, well, Rob. Thanks for the. Uh, <laughs> that's what it did. All right, Rob. So let's go back to Brands Hatch. You and I were at Brands Hatch, and um, you've got ten laps around Brands Hatch in any car you like: past, present, road car, race car. It could be anything. Your dream car. What is it? Well, Nick said any Super Tourer. Um, I would more or less be the same. It's either got to be a Super Tourer or a V8 Supercar. Any V8 Supercar. Anything that's um, loud. Yeah, anything that's loud and... Well, it's a bit like me. I'm, I'm quite fat and loud, but any car that's just sort of loud and aggressive. Brilliant. I like that. I like that. So, uh, look, Rob, in your, uh, in, your, in your racing career, you, you must have dropped a clangor or two. What's What's been the most embarrassing moment? Give us a laugh at your expense. There's two, actually. Uh, the first one, I, I, I lived in Northern Ireland at the time and I was racing the 2CV. And I came across on the Friday and we started testing. I came under the bridge at Snetterton, turned the wheel to turn in and it just went clunk in my hand. And I ended up rolling a couple of times over the glass and landing on the track on the other side. Brand new car that the college just built. I go out in the second test session and roll it, and it turned out. Unfortunately, the, you know the students had built it. It was one of those things, and they'd wound out about that much in one track rod, and about that much in the other track rod. And as I turned in, the little bit of thread that was hanging on just went, "No, I'm not doing that." <laughs> oh, um, no. And the second time was when I built the Focus and I invited all my mates up to Brands. Uh, so it's 2016, I invited all my mates up. They turned up and it was an absolute disaster. The car wouldn't rev above 4,000, wouldn't go anywhere. And I would do a lap, end up going in the pits, we try and fix something. And they're watching in the grandstands like, where is he? And there's poor me, I would go out, do a lap, break down, come in the pits, go out do a lap, break down, come in the pits. It was embarrassing as ever. And when I got back into work on in the workshop on the Monday, I, I took a rib in, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, mate. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, next time I see you, I'm going to remind you of all of this. So uh, you've been warned. <laughs> uh, I thought it was much. Now, uh... I, to be fair, it, it doesn't... It, it doesn't change anything. I'm usually taking Mickey Taking from Nick, Steph and the lads at Club Race in UK, so I don't mind. <laughs> Well, I certainly will now, uh, I can tell you oh, that. <laughs> so, uh, Rob, look, I'll let you go in a minute. I know you're busy. I know you've been at work today, so you probably want to just chill out a little bit. Uh, but one final question, one very, very important question. We've asked this to everybody. You probably know it's coming. So, Rob, if you were a biscuit, what biscuit would you be and why? Custard creams, because it's the best one. Okay. Custard cream, yeah. I think that's probably winning at the minute. I think that's had quite a few votes, so I think that one's right up there. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's there might be a few votes for Oreo, but no, Costa Cream. Brilliant. That's it. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, Rob... stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Straight up. <laughs> so, Rob Lewis, yeah. look, uh, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you trackside sooner rather than later. Will do. Same to everyone else. Take care.